Welcome back to Finnegan's Farm, welcome back to our YouTube channel and welcome back to our workshop Wednesday. My name is Paul and this is our team. Hi, I'm Sean Kyo and I'm the apprentice mechanic. Hi, I'm Mick and I'm the mechanic. Hello, I'm Marco, I love to weld. This is Bruce, this is Blake, them is two best students. Well, what's the story? I'm Kieran Ross, I'm the apprentice mechanic. Hello, I'm Carl, and I'm the one that has to make these guys look good. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the videos and comment what you want. Just put it in the comment system. We'll get back to you. So in for repair today, we have our 7710. We have two 7810s with a little, few little issues. A water tank. We have a header off our new combine. Uh, the little John Deere 2140 has to be repaired. So first of all, we're going to head over to Mick here with the 7710. We noticed a drop of oil, a small little puddle of oil underneath. Um, the track of the other morning, it looked like hydraulic oil. We thought it was maybe a fitting or something simple as a fitting there, maybe that was connected with the front suspension there. Um, but actually when we, when we dug a little bit deeper, we could see the oil was dripping from a pipe, which is that's, that's oil, a, oil cooler an oil cooler supplier return, supplier return from, from the transmission. Sure, from the transmission. So as you can see here. It's not actually there, it was here. It was here. The, Just the, that spot. That spot. Now it looked simple enough until what, Mick, till you Trying went to get it out. Yeah, so that pipe, we actually see in the video there, that pipe starts from back in here underneath the cab. It runs the whole way down the chassis rail, yeah. right up under, in, the radiator, under the radiator the and back up into the iron cooler there. Yeah. So it wasn't the fact that it wasn't leaking an awful lot, but look, we just said we'd take yeah. it out. We, th we thought about joining, but where it is, there's a couple of pipes beside it, and we run the wrist yeah. down and shave the yeah, other pipes. Sometimes what we might do is cut the mm. pipe, join it in situ, and join it back together. But anyway, he decided to take it out, and this was very useful, wasn't it? We tried it, we welded spanners, we tried everything. It's buried in there, we'd about that length of extensions, there's the remains of one of them. Yeah, so we wrote that. Smashed it in half, and in the end I got a this off Louis McGauley, crow's foot, brilliant. Yeah. Two turns and we were off. Yeah, so we got it, oh. it's, a, it's quite a long pipe, you'll see from the, yeah. from the And the whole there. secret, don't forget to put the baler twine in when you run the pipe back. Yeah. For the home going backwards, so or going back on. One of the trade secrets. Oh, yeah. most important. <coughs> yeah, so we're going to fish, it, fish, have the fish line in and pull the, the pipe the whole way back, and just repair it there, and that should stop the. Mm. And tape the pipe so you don't get shit into it. Yeah, you don't yeah. Know. Okay, Mick. So do. we're here with the seven eight ten, the auto power, throwing a bit of a. Um, what was he doing the other day? He was throwing dung the other day with, a, with the rolling trailer. No, his temperature kind of coming up a bit. Then we know it's a little bit of coolant. And then you take it from there. What what did you find then when, when we brought well, it back to the yard here? Of course, five o'clock on a Friday evening to go up and bring it back. But we, uh, we thought when we got it back, anyway, we found that this is a Thomas that housing, and there's a wee clip that goes in here. So a Thomas that is in this. This is a Thomas that for the back end oil cooler, I believe. Yeah. And uh, basically, the clip had come out. The Thomas that had opened up and started leaking out all the water. So we we're able to get that, and we have it fitted here now. So. So we, we actually, we've done a, a, a pressure test on that as well, haven't you? Yeah, so that's what we always do. Some, some and, and uh, yeah, normal stuff. We, we just, we'll do a pressure test on, on the cooling system to make sure that we've no other leaks. Mm -hmm. uh, it was fairly obvious it was coming out. Lucky enough, got in time, driver seen in time, brought it back to the yard here and uh, just just got a small little thermostat, as he says, for for the oil cooler, I think, isn't it? For the, yeah. the back end. Line. So we're so, going to fit that there now and get her back on the road. So we're here with our, well, it's off the case combine, but it's actually a new Holland head. As we've seen there, we got the combine last year. It came with a new Holland head. It's the only head that I had available at the time. Um, for it on, we said we'd run it for the year and that we would get it re-sprayed. So we, we uh, decided the other day, we took the reel off the other day. Not a big job. The lads are here behind me. The lads, Mick and Caleb there, took it off. Took the reel off. We, we put it sitting on one of the Brahan trailers and we extended out the, the Vario feed on it here and we're just going to bring it to the paint shop now to get it professionally uh, resprayed in the case red colour so the next time you see this she'll be lovely and shiny and red we'll have our black rail stickers on she looked the business there so yeah that's it that's the header on the combine we're here yes. with the old reliable 2140 this tractor is on the cattle farm there it's in the McHale straw chopper we went up to the morning and we had sprung a bit of a leak there a little bit of a puddle of oil on the ground so Brought it back down the workshop here, a little bit of investigation, the steering pipe busted. You tell us what happened, Mick. Um, steering pipe, it flooded the engine, it was soaked, the boys were out there washing. That pipe in there, gone, you see there? Going in, into the cab, and up into the steering orbital. 
it had a leak in it. It was flying over. So lucky. Uh, I think it was there. As you actually. can see from the pipe, it's been well. Yeah. It's been well. Just that's right. There was a rubber grommet there, and that I don't know if it was that reduced to get the fit because it's dog tight. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, the pipe was gone. Just new one in. New one in. Finding a pipe there. Look at when these ladies get that little bit older, you're always going to find a little bit of. I say that's the original. Yeah. Well, that probably is the original pipe. Um, yeah, it has the John Deere logo on it there. So it's. Uh, just fitting you and then and that's it should, should keep it going so our 6910 is in here we're just going to maybe give the front linkage a bit of a spray up there a little bit dull there and uh, connor says he'd take it on there to clean it up and to spray it but we're just following on from last week there with a few little leaks uh, caleb will explain there he would have gone through he had a few small eye leaks and one big yeah. major eye leak what do you well the the major eye leak that we were looking at the last one when we were in underneath the site though and I guess it was a pipe in the overall unit, which it was. We were able to replace that So I look up pipe. real high there now, I can see one of the steel pipes off my orbital unit leaking. Get that fixed, that yeah. so was a major leak in the middle of the tractor. Then in the front of the tractor, our, um, our oil cooler here was leaking. It was leaking on the, the inner gasket. So Sean was actually on that job just before he left. So it was one of the last things he'd done. So we've no leak there now as well. And our... Uh, oil feed pipe up to our turbo was leaking as well so we were able to replace that and that's that should be all the engine eye leaks out of it now yeah and so, so it's, it's just a matter of a clean up there respray the few um, the front linkage there and i think connor's going to do the back <laughs> arms as well um respray them as well so uh, it'll just freshen up the tractor there and, and uh, should be looking the job yeah. it. so here is the 7 8 10 it was only in the yard it's a uh, sprayed up five minutes later it was gone out of the yard Obviously, as you can see, the front linkage here being sprayed up makes gives it a huge lift there to the front of the tractor. It has a PTO that which we don't really use, but the front linkage that kind of sprayed up, clean it down. Just waiting for an odd John Deere sticker here to on the side of it there, just to give it a little bit of a lift. So generally, when we do the back of the tractor, we'll take off the arms there and we'll spray them individually. We'll take out the, the, the drop arms then we'll spray them, and the same here with the link rods, just to take them off. And if you just you know, take these up and maybe give the hitch, the front of the hitch there a bit of a spray. You don't want to overdo it because there's nothing worse than, you know, watching spray being sprayed in across. So take off your top link, do your top link, do the drop arms and the, the link arms there. And as you can see, it just gives that back end of the track a little bit of a lift. Now look, at the wheel get marked and wheel get dirty and scratched and that has to go along. But just when we had it in, we would just say uh, we do that just to, just to freshen up the back end of it. So we're up here on top of the tank here with John B who's putting, I think, what are you at there, John? Yeah, the ball cock, the ball cock uh, just broke up, and so we're replacing the ball cock. Yeah, so that's that's a big kind of a high flow one that was in it, wasn't it? Yeah. We just probably don't need anything as big, do we? No, we don't, no, we're no. putting a small one in. So we're going to new, yeah, putting a new ball cock, and we're just going to check, we have a little leak down there, so actually going to send Cahill there, he doesn't know that yet, we're going to send him down into the hole here, and uh, just to check that little, See, if, you, if, you, if you can't get out, we'll, we'll yeah, we'll just put the lid on. Just put the lid back on, and he'll be okay. So uh, yeah, that's yeah, the. That's only small. Right, mm. Carl, you see a hole down there? Yeah. No, no, not that hole. There's Here, no, there should be another. There. Yeah, yeah, there should be another little hole there. So just check that out there and see is so there. Uh, press the red one. Yeah. yeah. So he's going to uh, heat it there. We should dry it off. A little bit of silicone around it, and hopefully that should be the job. So. I don't know how we're going to get rid of it. we go for the tail there, Liam, man, there, will we? See you later. So that's it for this week's Workshop Wednesday. Don't forget to like, like and subscribe to the videos. If you have any comments there, just put them in the comments list below and we will get back to you. Uh, just a quick shout out to Sean Kyo and old Caleb. He's sleeping low in your bed now. He's in my bed now, she is, yeah. Huh? Yeah. If they're on that now, she will. <laughs> yeah, so look, a big shout out to Sean. This is the first one he's after missing there. Caleb is back, obviously, and from Mick here. Yeah, stay tuned there for tomorrow's uh, videos as well. We will have a special there for a St. Patrick's Day Parade special from Finnegan's Farm. We'll see a lineup of all the tractors, so stay tuned to that. Uh, we'll talk to you all next Wednesday.